Y'all know what's going on. Y'all know what's going on. Y'all know what's going on. We back. 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 We back another week. Week another episode. BYOB the podcast. I'm your host, regular John, aka Dick 'em Down Boo Boo. Wow. Oh my god. Where that come from? That was a big one. Of course, y'all know we got. Of course, y'all know we got our gracious co-host Pam in the building. And this week we got a motherfucking legend. We got a motherfucking. I don't even know how to describe him, man. It, 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 if you know, if you've been around for a minute, you know this name, you know this face. And if you don't know the face, you know some 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 butt cheeks that this nigga done put hey out. Go, <laughs> hey man, I appreciate the love, man. Appreciate name y'all a porn star me. he know her. We got motherfucker Joe Pro in the motherfucker building. What up, man? I'm good, baby. Pleasure to be here, man. Yes, man. It's you a long, t- know. long time coming. Facts. We've been talking so. about it for a minute, man. I'm here now. <laughs> it, Let's get it. Timing just got to be right, but we made the right time and this shit going on. Facts. Yeah. Yeah. So what's what's new? What's going on, man? What you got going? Hey, man. I got a new project. Stay working. Check it out. I got the I got all my joints on USBs now. So okay. all my mixes, uh, I'm doing a double mix. Uh, most of my mixes had like 30 to 40 tracks. So you're getting a double CD, which is basically the two CDs, first 48 First 48 part one, first 48 part two, both on one USB drive. So that's basically, uh, that's my joint right now. That's what I got popping. And I also have the Best of Jeezy and the Most Wanted 2 DVD all on one USB drive. So that's my new project right now. Everybody was like, man, when you going to step it up? Like, you know, cats really ain't buying CDs, which CDs are still selling really good too, by the way. People don't expect that, but they are. But I took it to the next level for the people to be able to play on their computers, their TVs, and the new whips and all of that. So that's what I got, both of the joints. Most Wanted 2, Best of Jeezy, and First 48, Part 5, Part 6, my best sellers. Pick them up. Or hit me on Instagram, Facebook, and I got you. Send it to you, mail it to you, whatever. Yes, sir. Thanks. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So what kind of footage uh, is expected? Is the, 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 uh, oh, the Joe oh, Pro which, that, which that one we on, 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 the, on the joint with the Jeezy and the Most Wanted 2? That's my best-selling DVD I'm featuring. Sure I, I, I see what the case looked like. So. Okay, so <laughs> the, the case is PG. So just okay. letting you know, it's it's X-rated, but it features the hottest exotic dancers from right here in Virginia, Atlanta, New York, okay. DC, Miami. Yes, sir. Show uh, them that case. The hottest sex scenes, uh, the hottest girl-on-girl scenes, all mixed with the music put together by yours truly. Uh, it's amazing, bro. I'm not just okay. saying that because I made it like. When I sit back and watch it myself, I'm like, yo, I really put that motherfucker together. So yeah. it's, right. it's it's a hell of a compilation, seriously. So when you say watch it by yourself, you make it like once this shit done, you like, yo, y'all gotta get the fuck out the room. Y'all gotta get the fuck out the room, cause I got the I gotta go over this content. I don't need nobody I don't need nobody disturbing my uh my creative yeah, you, process. You can kinda say that too, man. But I, I, I made that a couple of years ago and I hadn't watched it. In yeah. a while, so I put it back in. I was like, yo, I put this joint together. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? All my scenes are mixed. Like, I got footage from, like, Daytona Beach. It might have Bike Week. It'll have the um, scenes from in the clubs in Atlanta, the the top uh, exotic dancers, the porn stars, and it's all mixed together with the music. So okay. it's like more like a compilation type thing. And so once cool. you once you check it out, you get the feel of it, man. But it, it's, it's really dope, bro. Yeah. So you was not in Virginia. You was the first one doing this. Like this yeah, way, right? Yeah, this way, definitely. Like the, with the with mixing the adult uh, entertainment with the music and like doing it that way and definitely. going on tour with it. Cause right. uh, I remember being in high school, like niggas going to FX. I know niggas remember FX back in the day. I wasn't. Hell I was yeah, here, but... that was a spot. <laughs> so, but like niggas going to FX, like yo, we gotta get the new motherfucking Joe Pro DVD because I know. Woo, 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 you know what I'm right. saying so. If you know, you know. But right. like that was like outside of like getting the um the the. The bootleg, that's the, you know, that's what we call them. The bootleg DVDs from the DVD man. Right. Like, you get the regular joints, like whatever's, but then you got the Joe Pro joints, and like everybody I knew had the motherfucking Joe Pro something. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Whatever DVD, because you used to drop them shits like crazy. But then yeah. like Bite Week, Memorial Day weekend, right? Like all kind of shit. Like niggas was like, yo, you seen the new Joe Pro? Like that one cool, but nigga, this shit he got now. <laughs> this shit he Appreciate got from that, Daytona man. Beach, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Facts, man. I work hard on these joints, man. People don't know how much uh, goes into making the joints. You know what I'm saying? I'm traveling not only just here. I'm in Atlanta. I'm in North Carolina. I'm in South Carolina. I'm talking to this club owner. Will you let me film in your club? I'm playing them dances for that. I'm playing the owner. 
the club. They might got a fee for let me shoot in the club. So it's yeah, it's it's definitely complicated, man. It ain't it ain't an easy thing. Yeah. Fact. So what what keeps you consistent with it? Um, especially with the times changing so much and everything like that. But you still right, that's like why driving, people, like right, like people wonder you know why I slowed down. I haven't put out a joint in probably three four years. Yeah. It's because everything changed on me. You know, as far as with the uh, well, first of all, let me say this. First, it was the bootleggers. They kind of fucked the game up. Yeah. Um. So then, after after the bootleggers, then came uh the red box. So then people stopped going to the video stores. Yeah. You know the red box was in front of every Seven Eleven, all of that. So yeah. people didn't even have to go to the video store. So that kind of threw everything totally off. You know what I mean? So then, of course, came along streaming and Netflix and all of that. Um. But uh, what I'm doing right now is basically, I mean, just keeping up with what's going on. Um. I started to do the streaming route, but I decided to try the USB thing because I like the the physical part of it. You can actually pick it up, you can see it in the store, and you can actually, you know, touch and feel it. Yeah. Rather than just the uh, the streaming. So that's why I went this way. I might go to you know the streaming later on, but I figured I'd try this first because a lot of people were asking for it. So now I'm about to start putting out new stuff once again. Basically, the DVDs all over, but just new footage. I got footage I've been sitting on for like three to four years, so I'm about to put that back out. Exclusive shit. Facts. Yo, so that's dope. So that's it's kind of like like the old '90s shit, trapping out the trunk kind of situation. But yeah. you putting your shit out the trunk and you putting it in stores too. Right. That's what's up. Right. Hell yeah. So like, um, so how you decide with what scenes? Because I know you got to go through a lot of content to like, yeah, pick like, all right, this ain't gonna make it. That's gonna make it. We ain't gonna fuck with this. But I'm. I'm gonna like, put this up here twice because that bitch bad. Like, like, what, like, how do you decide what you keep, it, what you keep up there, and what you decide to scrap? It's kind of like what you said. You know, what's what's the what's the hottest scene? Uh, what's got the most something I think uh, uh, might draw people in or that they would really like? And of course, you know, the females that's in it, they got to be hot, they got to be dope. So that, yeah. that's pretty much it, man. Yeah. That's what's up. I would think about doing some shit like that, but like Pam, she be fucking all the bitches. So like, I feel like, oh, wow. I feel <laughs> like I wouldn't. Damn, I would, Pam. Yeah, they, they call it. They call her. You know her nickname is Pam the Piper. That is not true. Hey, that, and, oh like, God. that's how it's going down, Pam. <laughs> 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 they they call her Pam the Piper. If you Damn. look back, Pam, like what well, they call it overseas, they call her like Pamela Pooh Sweetina. But you know what I'm saying? But that's that's a whole different shit right there. <laughs> La Pamela Poussois That's what they call that's her In true. France that's In France they true. call her That's not true So you So you just gonna deny You be hitting niggas girls I don't do that <laughs> <laughs> But now nah. You can keep it real with me Like I'm right here So you know what I'm saying Joe like Yo we judge. can get this money together I don't <laughs> judge Like you just keep it real with me <laughs> Joe said we can get this money <laughs> But nah, yeah, I mean, it's... Pam said no comment. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> but nah. Yeah. So, um, so when it comes to that, so you do that, like, so you've been doing this for a minute. Yeah, man. Like, what was your, like, you remember, your, like, your your start? Like, what year, like, my first your one, origins of this? My first one, actually, my first, the mix CD started in, like, 86. Uh, 96, I'm sorry, 96. Um... As far as the DVDs, well, not DVDs, of course, it was VHS back then. The first one came out in 98. So from then on till now, yeah. First one came out in 98, and I shot that. Uh, I shot the majority of that in Magic City in Portsmouth and then added everything else to it, Daytona Beach Bike Week yeah. and all of that, yeah. Yeah, I remember the Bike Week joints. Mm-hmm. I remember them. I got in trouble. You got, you got me in trouble a couple times. For real, bro. My grandma done got them. <laughs> wow. I got to explain this shit. Oh, man. <laughs> you know, you just flip it, though. That's yours, grandma. Remember you had... Oh, no. Nah, that wasn't me. I ain't bring that in here. That was you. <laughs> Remember you had got them tapes from that man? I think he put that in there. <laughs> I think he put that one in there. And then, you know, you just go... When you find out what she hit today, you go get it back. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, get it back. I can't just come up off this. <laughs> now I'm saying that was uncut right. before uncut was a thing. That right. shit ain't exist remember, yet. Um, seeing it at my friend's dad. Y'all was y'all was closet no, fishing. No, no, we wasn't closet fishing. It just <laughs> yeah. happened to be in the drawer. Curious kids, so of course. So y'all was in this man's drawers. I might listen. I'm not giving too much detail. <laughs> just know that we were snooping and we shouldn't have been snooping. I was like, man. Nah, because now I need to know what else was in the drawer next to the I Joe Pro. I can't tell DVD. you that. That's why I'm not telling you nothing oh, else. Oh, wow. Nah, what was in the drawer next to the table? I mean, we, you ain't, I ain't going to ask you what friend or what dad. Okay, so, but listen, yeah. the crazy part is, like, 
I don't even know if it was her dad's because it was on the mama's side of the bed. Of the mm. bed? Mm-hmm. There's two nightstands. So I assume it was her oh, daddy, t- but okay. it was on the mama's side. Oh, man. What was next to it, though? I know it was some wild shit next I'm, to it. You don't got to say that. I don't want no <laughs> names. I don't want no identities revealed. It's only one friend yeah. it could be with. <laughs> so, no. Just, yeah. I remember. It was all kind of dildos and shit in there. Listen, like I just said, it was on the, on the mom's side of the bed. Was the so. rose out then? No. <laughs> no, I'm messing with you. I do <laughs> No, nah, they had to use the shower head back then. That was the right. old, the old fashioned yeah. way. Well, nothing out then, but anal beads, <laughs> anal beads was in there. Oh yeah, they the beads and the plugs. Remember, girls used to have the bunny. Well, they still do that shit. They got the bunny butt plugs and shit. They got some cute ones, light up ones. You got some? I have a light up one. What color light up, or is it like the shit that like, changed colors? All, all it changes colors. So <laughs> you can pick a color, leave it on one. Mm. Got, yeah, it's pretty. You cool. be in the bathroom. <laughs> Don't make me flip the switch, <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, man, that's hilarious. Is that the first thing you did? You turned the lights off, like in whatever room you was in? No, I did want to see what colors it turned. <laughs> you like oh. aimed it at the wall to see if it. <laughs> it's like a flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> now that's so. How did you know if it was saying like you can't like really look back? Like so, how does mirror? You just use the mirror. Or... Yeah, I, I'm curious because I never. I don't know. I have no idea. Because I've yeah, always okay. wondered, like, when women put them yeah. in, like, what, like, how can you see what's going on? Because I see the light up ones, like they have them, like they had the little thin dresses on, so you can see the light and shit come through, and like you see the. That's why I got it. What was a gift? But that's why for the club. For that. So niggas knew what time it was. Well, not niggas, well, but for the, yeah, so. for that person, yeah. Nice. Yeah. I take I take a drink to that. Yes, sir. <laughs> but yeah, man. Um. So what's your favorite? What's your favorite city? Like when when it come to doing this, got to be Atlanta, man, all day. I, I say Atlanta and Miami. Atlanta got everything. Atlanta, Atlanta is the strip club capital. Y'all, y'all already know that. Yeah. Though, yeah. Over Florida. Yeah. Yeah, I would probably. I don't know. Put, when I think of strip clubs. I think of like. I would Florida probably put Florida or, at number three. Two. What? DC got some. DC. Yeah, DC is up there too. Are they thick in DC? They butt ass naked. Yeah. Are they thick though? Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Depending on which one you go to, but see DC. Unless you go to like the the strip club, strip clubs, you might walk in there and think that bitch a bar, <laughs> like a right. record because it looked like a regular oh, bar. That you go in there, they just by these butt ass naked, right? And kind of in DC for my birthday, so I need to know. Yeah. Which strip and kind of in DC, I noticed too. In New York, it's different because the 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 dancers dance behind the bar. I always yeah. thought that was kind of yeah. weird. Like what yeah, the fuck? like the movies. You remember like yeah. Coyote Ugly and shit? Behind yeah. the bar, like titties out. They butt everything out, but pussy out, is, titties out. The bar be like in a circle, and the stage is behind, yeah. in the middle of the. Yeah, it's weird. Like players, like a like a movie, Where is like it? you know strip clubs in the movies and shit. What is it called? You never been to none of the. No. You never been to none of the strip clubs in DC. No, that's what I'm trying to go for my birthday. Oh yeah, we gonna have to we gonna have to make this trip happen. Yeah. Right. But Houston is lovely too. Houston, they love me in Houston for my birthday. I bet they year. do. I love them. <laughs> Texas, Texas, Texas love yet. thick women though. Houston and Onyx. Never Houston, been. oh my gosh! I've been to Onyx in North Carolina, but not Houston. The one in Houston. Onyx in North Carolina is different though. That no. shit is that's day one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. but Houston ain't nothing like it. My God, mm, I can only you turned that shit the fuck up. Oh my <laughs> God, like yeah, it was, it was a great night. Wow, that southern hospitality is real, and they are bad. So we got to get you to DC, and we got to get Joe to Houston. Facts. And I got to be in, involved in both of these situations. <laughs> yeah, you got to do both. Do one and do the other. Right. Nah, but Florida's definitely, Um, I heard they strip. I ain't never been to a strip club in Florida, but I definitely heard they shits is definitely like that too. So that's why I didn't put them at number two because I, so you know, I can't. So who would be your number two? DC would be my number DC. two. My number two. Houston would probably be Yours. number two. But I heard that too. Man, you got to go. You got to see it. I heard Vegas strip clubs is in that, but I heard they, they just, they, wild. it's just because they wild in there. But you don't know what you what you gonna get in Vegas give, in the Vegas strip club. I don't see like thick strippers in Vegas. I see like really really pretty. Strippers, there ain't really but not too thick. many thick women in Vegas. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. that's not a strip club I want. And go the to. aesthetics of Vegas ain't really, you know, Mm-mm. set up for that. No, <laughs> it's like the opposite of Atlanta in Florida and Houston. Mm-hmm. No thanks, I'm a pass. Like the strip clubs in Vegas is for like the high rollers, you yeah. know, the old white niggas that just. They millionaires and billionaires. They just want company for the night. Like, you know, right. shit like that. Right. Because that shit wide open out there. Like, <laughs> prostitution is crazy. I don't even think they call it prostitution out mm-hmm. there. That it's shit is a just a paid service. Got a little granny on the street giving out the cards and shit. Yeah. 
They come pick oh yeah, them Mexicans, limo. they run down on you quick. Hey, don't bother puppy. Hey, hey, I don't want that shit, man. They come pick you up in a limo. Put that shit. a little number on the car. <laughs> I don't want that shit, man. Give it to me. Give it to me. <laughs> you said her, her name is. <laughs> yeah, right. Them cars be everywhere. Nah, but I'm too pinoy though. I ain't, I ain't ordering off the car because I'm thinking somebody gonna you gonna open the door and there's gonna be four niggas out there like yeah, I need that. You gotta go to the Bunny Ranch. I do. I do want. I did want to go to the Bunny Ranch. I want to go there too. Like when the um, what was the show? That was the bunny. The, the bunny oh, ranch it was, was on. The bunny uh, ranch, yeah, it was. Was it called the bunny ranch? I thought it was called something. Cat house. It's called cat house. Was it cat house. Cat house. Uh, something. Something. Bunny cat house. Shit. Something. The bunny ranch. Right. Yeah, I wanted to go there, but then like you know, didn't the dude get like arrested for some something wild happened. shit or some shit? Yeah. That shit probably back open up. Huh? I'm sure. If not, it's something similar. Mm-hmm. Shit. You got a legal brothel? I would never let that shit <laughs> shut down. Like <laughs> no way in hell. That's real. Fuck no. So yeah, um. Shit, we can get into some music. Talk some okay. music shit. Cause you a DJ. I know you I know you aware of the climate of what's going on oh, and yeah, shit. Of course. We're not really the um the gossip real or the instigators, but everybody talking about this Meg and uh Nikki shit. Right. And I think it's like the wildest shit ever. It's crazy that the women is the only ones that like when it comes to rap beef, they the only ones that actually release music though. Like niggas, they just get on Instagram and threaten each other and yeah. screaming they phone camera and shit. <laughs> right. <laughs> So now, what you think about it? Like, you think it's you think it's good for the culture, or you think that shit? I don't know, man. I mean, it's keeping them relevant. You know what I'm saying? It, you know, controversy always is, is a good thing, and it helps draw people in. Um, I mean, I like both. I like Nikki, and I like I like Megan. Um, the, I was really a, a, a Megan fan until the Tory Lanez thing, so that kind of threw me off. Yeah. So now they going in on each other, and then. Uh, I'm kind of like I don't know if you heard of Juicy Fruit. I was yeah. a Juicy Fruit fan, but yeah. then she started going on going in on finesse two times. So now I'm just lost. Like yeah. I, don't, <laughs> I don't know who the fucking like no more. It you seems know like I mean? everybody at his neck right now. Yeah, like people putting out paperwork and shit. Like I don't get into that because I know how the internet and Photoshop works. So mm. you know what I'm saying, right? Uh, paperwork shit. That's they. You know whatever. Yeah, you but can, you can make it look a certain way when it it's, ain't, it's so. easy. But yeah, so I mean, I, I think it's I think it's dope if it stays music, right? If it's they take it too far already. Yeah, but that I, whole I, talking about the dead mama thing, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's going what, crazy. Yeah. But the two little girls dancing on is kind of what pissed me off. Dancing on what? On like her, on somebody's on, grave? On Megan's mama's grave. So I didn't it's see that. It's two little girls on TikTok. I don't even say little because they, they look grown. Yeah, I didn't see that. That's yeah, crazy. I saw it and it just pissed me off. Like, yeah, I don't want to. I don't see shit like that. Now you taking it too taking far. It too like far. now this shit, this shit yeah. ain't entertainment no more. Like you dancing on my loved one's grave and shit. Right. So I, I thought it was Nikki's dad grave because I seen. That's what I seen earlier nah. that um somebody nah, had it was put the. Mama. They they did a little zoom in on the shit. Back oh out. shit. Yeah. I didn't see the post. I just seen somebody saying that um on Twitter um uh, or X whatever the fuck it's called now that Nikki's dad's grave got revealed. That's so crazy, maybe it's right? both. Maybe it's like both crazy, but either way, that's Excuse that's me. crazy. Yeah, go ahead, just grab it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, what a cameraman over here. <laughs> what is the beef He's from? What did it start from? Does anybody even know? Tell me when to stop. So me personally, I you want Cranber. Oh me God. personally, I believe that it started because you know Meg and Cardi like really close, and you know Nikki and Cardi don't fuck with each other at all. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like maybe Nikki on some Fifty Cent shit. Like you fuck with you fuck with somebody I don't fuck with. Fuck you too. That's a silly reason. She's too old for that. I mean, yeah, no. <laughs> because, I mean, me at this age right now, I mean, depending on what it is and why I don't fuck with him, if you, like, if, if it's somebody I thoroughly don't fuck with and, like, it's like that with them, like, to the point where we gonna get physical if we see each other and you hanging with them, like, I can't fuck with you because I can't trust you. Right. So it's kind of like that, because then if you are around both of us, unless you already had like a strong relationship on both sides, and me and that's that person saying, fell out, then that's different. But I don't think that was the case with Meg. I don't think that. Nikki I don't think Meg and Nikki ever had a. But Nikki I, don't really fuck with no um wrong back. Nikki don't really fuck with no like women rappers like that. I don't that. see nah, like don't. Meg and Cardi sitting around like. Talking about Nikki, I just don't. Nah, you know what I mean. I, I don't see. That's that. why I said it's like the Fifty shit. I doubt that Ja Rule, Jada Kiss, and Fat Joe ever had a conversation <laughs> about Fifty, but the nigga was like, "Yeah, fuck them niggas too." They canceling like the Rock Nation brunch now because of this shit. Because of Meg and Nikki. Is it because of them? I feel like it's because of them. I doubt Hove would like I, that. Shit ain't big enough for Hove to cancel the Rock Nation brunch. Like that shit is like the biggest brunch of the year. Is it because of Diddy? I'm not sure. <laughs> 
<laughs> Let me see why. <laughs> now that might be because he had the shit every year. Yeah. But then, I mean, the Diddy shit happened, then the Epstein list dropped, and know what I'm saying? Of course, I don't speaking, believe that nigga. Speaking niggas... of that, too, man, what, what, I mean, they kind of, after the list came out, they still mm-hmm. kind of swept it under the rug because you really didn't hear nothing about it. Like, I thought shit was just going to, yeah. you know what I mean? So, because like, most of the names was just people that used his, his jet, which that don't mean shit because that's a, just a jet service. That's like you own a jet, I use it, and, like, you know what I'm saying? That right. don't mean I got whatever you got going on business wise. I ain't saying you do that, but I'm just saying that don't mean they had shit to do with what right, he had right. going on that way. Right. But um, that shit called Lolita Airlines. Lolita is crazy. That's the <laughs> name of the airline. Yes. <laughs> God damn. That shit just That's that, incriminating. That shit just name. says sex. <laughs> <laughs> that shit just. That shit just. Uh, I gotta look that up, yo, because that's wild if that shit is true. Why the first thing that pop up is Donald Trump flights on <laughs> Jeffrey Epstein's right. No, it's Lolita Express, which is worse. Is that? <laughs> like, that's even worse. Get them quick. Get them quick. Get me on, get them quick. <laughs> yep. Get them on, get them off. Hey, nah, that's I mean, wild. Get them out. That's crazy as shit. So it ain't just, I use your airplane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not... I don't think I'm getting on a, a plane that's named Lolita Express. Fuck no. Just because of the name. Like, I don't even want no parts of what right. the fuck is going on. Mm-mm. But nah, I mean, it's just like... so. But, but from what I hear, most of the names that's on the list is mm-hmm. like names that like... On the that, list? No, nah, it's names... It's like billionaires <laughs> and millionaires that like... They're not famous. They just rich. It's mm-hmm. so like nobody knows who the fuck they are, so nobody's gonna care. You know what I'm saying? Of course, they list a few celebrities, but like none of the celebrities was like ever on the island... Well, now I ain't gonna say none of them. Most of them wasn't on the island at the same time that he was. What about Chris Tucker though? Like when going through the and Stephen Hawking. <laughs> I'm just saying, I ain't just throwing him he out. He was there, on I'm, the island I'm too. Just Look at them titties, man! Like I don't right. know what the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but they said Michael Jackson was on that motherfucker too. Said yeah, I said yo. They said a lot of people like that shit wild though. Like, cause imagine you just go somewhere for a party and you don't even see no wild shit. And next thing you know, you in the Rico. <laughs> like, you just, you ain't even get to, you ain't even get to like partake in none of this shit. So you really don't know. So when the feds is knocking and asking you questions, you really don't know. And they really like, nah, God damn it, I know. You like, nah, I really don't, bro. Like, I. Most Trump was three names that they won't name. Oh, it's three names they won't name. Oh, they still won't say. I <laughs> he said won't say what they are. Slim gonna fight. That's crazy. They fought, they fought the court. Oh, the Supreme court so they wouldn't reveal them. Oh shit! Names. How they work that out? Oh shit! It makes me wonder. I'm not worried about the other ones. I'm worried about them three. Right. I know who it is. Slim, find them shits out, man. Yeah. I, I, Do your digging. I hope I don't get smoked for this. But it's Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, and Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> it's them three niggas. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, man, I, it hey, might man. be Bill Gates, Hey, man, though. I got to go, man. I'm going to holler at y'all later, man. Like, uh, <laughs> nah, them three niggas and Bill Gates is, like, that's four people that you don't want to ever mention in OB because they can they got enough money to really just make you disappear. Facts. Facts. Like, right now. You're going to be in the middle of the Sahara, and they not even going to kill you. They just going to have a helicopter drop you off in the middle of the Sahara, and you don't know which fucking way to walk to get the hell out of there. Damn. Nope. I was just playing. I like I, I love Facebook. I'm on Facebook every day. Like it's comedy. It's comedy. <laughs> Yo. Ladies, we are selling this Joe Pro gum <laughs> to the highest bidder. Right. Like, it's still about twenty shoes left. <laughs> it's mixed in with chicken grease and, and uh crown apple and cranberry and ro- juice. And Roxy Reynolds. And <laughs> Hey, if that would be nice, that would be nice. I was gonna say, like, for that me, that's wishful nice. thing. I mean, yeah. I, I mean, I would. Shout be. out to Milk. Milk bit her ass. He got a picture of uh, he biting that ass in the club. Who who bit who whose ass? Yeah, my homeboy Milk. He, uh, he bit built Roxy's ass in the club. Damn. Wow. She let him do it. They took a picture. Shit. Let me see if I can find it. We can keep talking, but I'm gonna see if I can try to. I'm, I'm gonna try to find it real quick. I'm gonna pop it. It's gonna be up I'm about there. To say I've known Roxy for a few years. I never. <laughs> Bit the ass. <laughs> <laughs> right, the text are like, yo, what's up with this? Oh, yeah. I'm about to hit on Instagram now. Roxy was good. Oh, nah. You, you thought you was 
Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, a little charge. What you hold up? What you say, Slim? <laughs> yeah, I thought I was that nigga the whole time. I ain't get to smack the ass, let alone bite the ass. Yeah, man. I know Slim is in the looking ass, so I feel where you're coming from, though. He definitely uh. Yeah, You said Talk random. You said shit. random ladies. You, you toss salads on a regular slim. <laughs> slim, you toss salads on a, on a rig. Why can't it be one salad? It don't got to be salads. I mean, what I meant by <laughs> several. I, I didn't mean like several asses, but just you know what I. Whatever my lady wants, my lady gets. Oh, that's right. That's what's up. Get that buffet. Oh. <laughs> so what you just be like? Yeah, we ain't going to Taco Bell tonight because yeah. I'm, I'm I'm in the mood. <laughs> Right. And we keep it in that room. Slum nasty dude on the low. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Talk that shit. Talk <laughs> your shit then. Yeah. You a freaky ass nigga. Hit, say that shit then hit the little hookah jump. <laughs> <laughs> and he don't put the filter on the hookah. He just be like, here. Damn. Now she won't hit it. If she won't hit it after you pass it to her without the filter and it's just y'all two on the hookah, I wouldn't trust it. You don't trust it no more. I'm going to let you get your last intro, but I guarantee if I plug my phone into that roadcaster right here, I got three right now to tell me Joe did it. <laughs> what are you talking about, man? Oh, oh, hey, we be so, hey, nah, we definitely see you. What is he talking about? We, over here? Oh yeah, this shit you can you this shit got phone capabilities. You make phone calls on this bitch. You see some familiar names on this phone call. Oh, look. Joe What's going on? I don't know what y'all talking about over here, man. <laughs> we see you. In, we be seeing Do you I need in to a... unplug. This what's going on. Like? <laughs> I was just gonna say I be seeing Joe in them comments. <laughs> I don't know what you talk about, man. Leave with it. Hey, man. I show everybody love. Nice pictures. I'd be like, hey, yeah. that's, that's eating nice, ass is dope. a different kind of love, though. I ain't that's say a I love. never see me on a <laughs> comment talking about I want to eat the ass. Man. Take Come me on, up high, you love. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it in public. Take when me up high, you love. You don't do what uh, in public? Huh? You don't. He not gonna post that he eating cheeks. No, you, I, you gotta eat ass I in public. I thought Slim said he ate ass in public. public. You said you gotta eat ass in public. Yeah, I've had that done in public in Hampton. I'm just saying. <laughs> In the 757. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I had to clap it up. I had to clap it up for him. That's crazy. Damn. Damn. In Hampton. And somebody's on his homies right now. Word. Uh. Talk about me. <laughs> yeah, nigga. We was at, what's the shit in Hampton? The, uh, the we was at POC, <laughs> nigga. We did, I slid that bathing suit to the side. That must have been after the alley. No. This was like a regular Saturday night. It was some type of festival or something going on like downtown. Damn. Yeah, it was people walking by and everything. Damn, so you got watching you getting the ass ate. It was like in the middle of a festival. Yeah, I mean, I would have cheered it on too, but that's why it was music and lights and all types of stuff. But yeah, they were walking by. Like, oh, that shit was a whole scene. The, you seen the lights like twinkling and shit. Like, he was just, <laughs> the people <was> going <laughs> lights. <laughs> <laughs> right there you go Damn like this <laughs> nah I ain't gonna front though public sex that shit is that shit is definitely cause lit cause you might get caught I don't want to but yeah that's I don't give a fuck if I get caught by a person long as it ain't a person in a uniform that that's has a badge real. on it that's real <laughs> cause you know you getting uh, if you get caught like you gotta register yeah depending on depending where, on where get you caught. are yeah damn like yeah. some cops cool Girl, like hello open yeah, some um, some of them just uh, like you know what I'm saying they write you up a little ticket for like a decent exposure, or some dumb shit like that. But like some of them, they try to hit you with the bullshit. So if you gonna fuck your lady in public, even if it's after hours, it could be one in the morning. Don't do that shit in like no school zone, no or near, like no park. Yeah, dog. Cause my homeboy, he got a um, he got a charge like oh shit for pissing. He was taking a pit, like, you know, like, sometimes, like, niggas, a, a group of people that chill, like, at a park, like, it's one in the morning, like, nobody out there. Right. And, uh, you know, the police rode up, it's dark and shit, but, uh -huh. nigga, you, you be in the cut pissing, and he got hit for that, because it was the park. Like, that's fucked up. Damn. Damn. He beat it, though. Like, he had to, like, you won't know, he had to register and no weird shit, oh, but they tried to hit him with that. Like, damn. bro, what fucking kids was out here with that's us? That's fucked up. At, you know, one in the morning. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a school zone, it was just, a like, a neighborhood park. That's wild. But them niggas came from like the other side though. Like this shit crazy as hell. You was out there too? No, sir. 
I don't know. You said they came from the other side. Like you. Hey, look, I'm I'm never I'm never where the saying, crime I'm, I'm never where saying. the crime is at. Even with <laughs> I'm never where the crime is at. You said the other side, right? Like mm-hmm. He was on this yeah. side. And they came I, from the I, other I side. I know that part. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's all I'm saying. Okay. That's all I'm we saying. We go with that. We go wrong with that. That's then. all I'm saying is I know right, that part. Cool. Know what I'm saying. <laughs> but yeah, like it's you know what I'm saying. It's a bridge on one side, and then like it's a little cut through the neighborhood, right, and right. then it's the street. Like you know, hold on. right? You told him where yeah, the nigga was at you know because it. all right. So you know, when you in high school, like niggas ain't got their own cribs and shit. So you gotta like figure out chill spots. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody got that one homie. Like you, everybody can chill at their crib at one a.m. But like sometimes that shit just ain't a go. Yeah. So yeah, so you you know you just go to the little neighborhood park, and you find us a green box somewhere in the cut. You know what I'm saying? Chick sneak out. Green box. Yeah, the green boxes. Uh, you know the, the green box. You know the green oh, boxes. Yeah. Okay, okay, I get it. All right. Some um, like some neighborhoods, they got them like in the cut, mm-hmm. and like that, that just gonna be the like the hangout spot. Everybody just go chill at the green box. You right. humped on the green box, didn't you? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you, you bent shorty over on the green box. <laughs> yeah, and sometimes you can lift them up, like plop them down, oh, and now I'm saying, lift them up, put them on the green box. Now you're not gonna get electric because you're gonna die. That shit Damn. is a lot of power. That shit powers the neighborhood. Yeah, like, that's real. You ever yeah. you ever seen one of them shit blow up? Or like um no. what's that shit called? Transformers. Yeah, like when that shit do that, that shit be like a like a, a white light. Like that shit happened in the neighborhood I stayed in. Our power was out for two fucking days when that shit blew up. Damn. Shit, shit. It was in that moment you knew. I'm willing to die about this. <laughs> oh no, it didn't blow while we was on it. <laughs> no, I'm just now, saying. I, so when that happened, I was already grown and had my oh, own okay. crib type shit. Like, yeah. And I will still fuck outside. I was about to say, you're fucking the Hey, man, I feel like you never too old to be spontaneous. You can, now I'm saying, I might be 60 too years deep. old fucking outside. <laughs> I'm going to one of them little freaky old retirement communities. I'm already ready. They going to tear your ass up in there. <laughs> 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 That's where I'm going. You, I've already planned it. You going, you going single or you going with... I'm gonna have all the old motherfuckers. We're gonna be old together. Just old Damn. and freaky. They they them old people do be like some serious freaks though. Peg like, make sure you take your pill before you come out here. That part. Your blood pressure and the blue one. Oh, <laughs> take, <laughs> take the blood pressure and the blue one. God damn. But yeah. Um But then what the fuck was we talking about? I, I, we got sidetracked. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely got fucking sidetracked. But yeah, so um, nah. So you 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 ever thought about like um like OnlyFans content? Like in addition to what you got going on too? Actually, man, me and your cameraman was talking about that, man, and um, I'm looking forward to um venturing out with that. Uh, I don't really know a whole lot Slim, about Slim. Just trying to fuck your models. He don't even I, really. I can believe that because Slim is a, is a stone cold freak on the road. So. He really don't even want to. I can believe that. You gonna you gonna look back at the footage like why the fuck was the camera looking at the wall the whole time? This <laughs> nigga. I heard Slim got a feet fetish, a foot fetish. To be honest, but we're not gonna get on that right now on the, on the podcast. But uh, yeah, man, I'm I'm looking forward to um looking into that, man. Uh, me and Slim was talking about it. You know, I got a lot of footage. Um, that I think I could use, and it might you know work out work out for the for the both of us. Oh yeah, on that joint. So. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I'm going to put it on the crawler. So y'all heard it here first. Y'all, it, right. We got the motherfucking, yeah. y'all just heard the announcement, the official announcement here Joe first. Damn hmm. yeah, right, Joe Pro OnlyFans Joe coming Pro soon. That's going to be crazy. Coming. Yeah. That shit going to be, I'm going to clap Yo, it up. Yo, that would be so crazy. Clap it up. All right. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. You better catch him while you're still down to earth. Mm. <laughs> or I'm about to get real conceited out here. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> It ain't even you. It's going to be the people. Nah, you can't. Uh, hell, he ain't talking to nobody. <laughs> right. Like, damn, I'm his cousin. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> he ain't getting on camera. He ain't, you his cousin. He ain't letting you on camera. You can't come in here. Who, who, right. the, who the security we got? Because we, we had King. No, we had King. King went with the baby. What's the uh, keys? Oh, yeah. Nah, keys. And he keys is like, yeah, keys like the best of the best. Yeah, the keys the best of the best. That's... I'll be security. Pam's trying to fuck him. <laughs> I'll be security. What you secure? Why are you smiling? Because I will be secure. I'll be a great security. You're going to secure all the ass. That's what you're going to do. Listen, Listen, secure you secure everybody straight. <laughs> Keep everybody safe. Secure you going to make sure everybody's straight or you're going to test to see who's straight and who's not? Keeping booty safe. One ass at a time. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, you better, uh, hey, you better trademark that by the time this episode ends. I promise you. Pam go by saying, boom, it is my duty to protect that booty. <laughs>
on some shaft shit. But yeah, nah, that's dope. And um, so yeah, we got. Um, hey, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I need some more crown and cranberry juice. Hey Joe, I didn't I didn't think I was over. gonna have to use this button today. Oh shit. And button I didn't today. think I was gonna have to use it on you. Button is bad. I got to though. You's a fucking nut, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> so Pam, you um Pam, can you hand me some ice while you're over there? Thanks. Appreciate you. You're the best. Yeah. Don't let that nigga stick them greasy ass. Hold on, man. Yeah. In the you ice, gotta shake in it. The Hold ice. on, man. I'm just taking. I'm taking my ice off the top, and then. No, you just shake it down. Like I didn't want to mix it up because. You want a piece of ice? Are you? Yeah, I just want. I just was gonna grab like three. Oh, like, right don't edit top. none of this shit out neither. <laughs> We're not editing none of this out. All of this shit I is staying. Mix my ice with everybody else's. Because I need niggas to know this. This I might have a little. This is really. This a, is really what we do. That's all I need. Three, three pieces right there. I'm good. <laughs> Don't edit none of this shit out, Slim. This shit stays in here. Keep the sound effect. All that shit. All that. This shit. This shit too. This shit is too nigga rich for us to edit out. My shit is raw. <laughs> <laughs> My shit is authentic. I'm getting that on the soundboard too. I'm definitely putting that shit on the soundboard. Yeah, nah, we ain't editing none of this shit. That shit is no, staying. Don't edit. Don't edit. <laughs> this fucking chicken is amazing. That that I'm, chicken I'm glad, is fucking. I'm glad. Listen, that chicken. That's it, that's the closest to farm fresh chicken we ever gonna get again. And that shit is it. It ain't quite farm fresh chicken, but that shit is a, a solid number two. What's this I hear about the alley chicken, man? I haven't heard that. Haven't had the alley chicken. I haven't had. I, I heard that um, Lido chicken. <laughs> you said who's going to, be to really that? Nigga, yo, that line be around the corner still. It do be smelling good in there yeah. though. Yeah, I've never had it. That line be. I don't. I don't go to the alley. You know, I don't club. You don't go you to know, the alley. I don't club. When the last time you seen me in the club, Pam? I haven't been, like, club? What? I haven't, like in the club setting? I haven't been setting. in a while. I haven't been to the club in a while. But I love the alley. Listen, but it's stink in the middle. <laughs> in the middle? <laughs> stink in the middle is crazy. Yo. <laughs> it's oh, I've never heard nobody say that, yo. Listen. <laughs> what listen, the fuck? Listen. I'm not talking about the... Okay, so you got the smoke inside. Then you got the regular... You know, you got the club part. Got the bar right here, but in the middle. Yo. In the middle, it's like a little square. It's thinking middle. Don't go too far in there. Just put a few feet in there a little bit. Get you a few steps. Don't go all the way in. You go to the middle, That's you lost. Crazy. You lost. We, so you get in the middle. We never get an <laughs> alley endorsement ever. <laughs> no, like, listen, never, but it's something to Never gonna happen. Listen. But the, you can't the, go to Bella <laughs> Where, Where can the we hell go? could you go? Listen, I'm not saying it ain't fun because it's some of the best. Fun I've ever had in my life. One of life. the best stank yeah. you ever had. It, it's stank in there. <laughs> do it, do it stink or do it stank? Cause like, there's a difference. Don't go in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> don't go in the middle. But so you, you have saying it. that the alley's pH balance is I off? It's off. That. It's stink in the middle though. No bullshit. It I do never, stink in the middle. That's crazy. But it's fun. It's fun. <laughs> Damn, that's wild to say a, a club's pH balance is off <laughs> in the middle. Like, it's stink in the middle. <laughs> So Nobody else has heard that from so, me but me. Nah, so what the fuck be what happening in the middle that make it Listen, smoke like they that? be busting it open in the middle. And what you saying is they should be keeping it, busting some suds. Yes. They should be yeah. busting suds instead of busting it open. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it's, just, it's not it. But when it's no lights down. <laughs> Damn, when the lights down, it's less dangerous. <laughs> Listen, but it's fun though. The, the alley is fun. And them drinks is strong. Yeah, I mean. I did hear that. I heard like the alley and the lower like they drinks is definitely. But if, if we keep it in a thousand, when it stink a little bit, people do be having more fun. <laughs> Maybe that's why. No, not like that. But in the club, oh. I meant, I meant. Mm. Cause you got like the bougie clubs, right, where everybody's like looking like they're having fun and they're recording yeah. and smoking hookah and everything. You go to a club in the hood. No, Where's everybody shaking ass and dancing and a nigga forgot hit to hit a few jokes? swipes and they be musty a little bit. <laughs> no, we gonna have fun. No, I'm gonna swing it back. You ain't never hit no stank push, Joe? Like in life? All right, man, I'm about to tell a story. Man. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. <laughs> I think every nigga got one story. No, check it out. <laughs> I had a chick. I don't want to too many details, but then... It's okay, she nah, 
I ain't yeah, you can keep our identity. You yeah, can keep our yeah, identity hidden. Yeah, for sure. Say, you yeah, yeah, definitely uh, keep uh, our identity hidden. Yeah, and it might ahead, not even stink no more. It might not stink no more. <laughs> no, it won't even this. Like, oh. the pussy was clean as fuck. She was just always musty. <laughs> No, nah, like on some real shit. Like was she, nah, I ain't, nah, nah, she was like, a shit. I don't, I don't know. No, seriously, like I don't know if she had a problem where, um, I don't know if it's, if if it's something where like a chick can be musty all the time and she not really know. It was more like in her clothes and stuff. Like she was oh, always so musty. So the pussy didn't stink. She no, just she stunk. It's, the it's, the it's underarms. It, the it was, underarms. Was but it she, the underarms or other parts? No, it was, it's, it's other parts. Now he's no, he's saying the pussy didn't stink. It was just the underarms. Like she she was an amazing person. Okay. The sex was great, <laughs> but just her the underarm no. shit was crazy. That's like how you. So I'm sitting here trying to think of ways you can fuck her with her arms down. Like bitch, don't no. open them arms up. I'm Hold still on. gonna fuck. Like no, I'm confused. I didn't mean to cut y'all off, but you know that is wild. And this file, when that nigga say she was an amazing person. I mean, she's an amazing person. <laughs> I'm saying, uh, listen, if them arms is musty, just hold them down. You can just hold and them down. Don't open no, them up. No, but listen, like. Oh, she, yeah. So, like, that's when you hit the back shots and you grab the two and you grab the two arms. <laughs> you grab her arms and put it behind her back. You just hit it. Just, yeah, bitch, you better not do no running. Yo, I, I still ain't figuring out what it was. Like, she was in the sports, too. Maybe it's because she was so athletic. Maybe that's what it was or something. I don't know. You hitting that crown pretty hard, too, by the way. But, um. Oh, I'm good. This is, that's it. That's it. Right, me. Cool. But, um, yeah, man. I'm a fan, I nigga. I got a high time. I'm over there laughing. No, I'm dead serious. Like, yeah, yeah, I still no, ain't found out. I still ain't found out what it was. Like, did you suggest, like, she get it looked at? I ain't know how to tell her. There's no... Like, it was almost like she couldn't smell it or something, she but... Smell it. I... <laughs> she smelled that. She smelled that. She smelled that shit. My girl, just, she probably was just used to it. You nah, know what I mean? It I might be so like... Too. That's what I'm saying. I was about to say that. Like, she might not have smelled it. It's like, you know how, no. like... You know how, like, some fat people just stink mm -mm. and they, no, don't they don't know they stink, but everybody around them know they, they know stink? They know they stink. I'm telling you. There's... Listen, you ain't gonna take no shit and What's then... Like you even take my shades off. You're you're not about the to like take a shit, right? <laughs> yeah. And you don't be like, damn, this shit stink a little bit. You don't take no shit and then be like, damn, this smell good. <laughs> no, even your own shit stink is what I'm saying. So nah. if you smell your shit and be like, damn, you know but what I mean? But they like, might not. They might not smell. They. So I heard like even people who breath stink. Like a lot of people they who smell breath stink, too. they don't know. Them niggas hit it too many. Ha ha. You. They, <laughs> like, no. Fuck that. Now, I think a lot of people just started figuring out they breath stunk when like COVID happened and they so, had to, we had to mask up and shit. But you know why? Because <laughs> it's like, oh shit, now nah, I'm going, I'm anti mask. Fuck this. But some of them, it ain't their teeth. Some of them motherfuckers got an ulcer and I don't even know it. Some yeah. Stomach be hurting all the time. Breath be on fire. They got a fucking ulcer. They don't even know yeah. it. So. And I've definitely heard yeah. that. Like, usually no, if your breath is like, like crazy, crazy, it's like a, some kind of internal it's, health yeah. problem. You never an ulcer. Yeah. Because your digestive system is like mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. biggest portion of your immune system. Right. Like your gut, you know what I'm saying? Like that shit is like the biggest portion of your immune system and shit. True. <laughs> Listen, so the moral of the story is if your stomach hurt and you brushing your teeth all the time and your breath stink, go to the doctor. You got an ulcer. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's something going you on. You got an ulcer, bro. You got a fucking ulcer. Your stomach hurt. You got any more than stink. cranberry? Yeah, here you go. Yeah. Hey, but check it out. But back to the chick with the amazing head. And, um, oh, the head was but fire? We didn't even talk about The head was amazing. Yeah. But it was, she was just musty all did the time. She, and I could not pick it up. her arms? Up. She didn't raise the arms. She was the super head technique, kind of like, oh, no. but it kind of. See, listen, so you had to like massage but you your wanted her to like, You wanted her to do this, but like with her arms <laughs> this way. Like, so she couldn't do this. Yo. She couldn't do this. She had to do it like like this. Oh, like, I cannot, work them shoulders. Work the shoulders. Don't. Uh, I could not figure that shit out, though. It was like it was in her clothes or something. I don't. I can't. You could have just told her, though. I couldn't tell her. I ain't, I ain't had a heart to tell her. I ain't even gonna front. Damn. That fuck me up. So you don't tell nobody if they got a booger or if they breath stink? Because you think yeah, you don't hurt Yeah, I mean, because that was, that's simple. That's a simple fix. But this super musty thing, that just killed me. I don't, I don't know. Nah. Listen, you could have saved her. Listen, the people before her, <laughs> they could have saved her too. Like you said, she could smell it. So I don't know if she <laughs> smelled it, but God. Yeah. She might, I don't know. Was she French? <clears throat> <laughs> no, she wasn't free. No. Yo, I do hear people in Paris be musty as shit. Yeah, it stink out there. <clears throat> On purpose, though. It's like, it was, stink, it was stink in the middle in Paris? Yeah, it do stink in the middle. Actually, <laughs> my mama said it do. My mama told me it do. She said it, it do stink in there. Yeah, everywhere that's outside of the Eiffel Tower stink. That's the Eiffel is... Tower in the hood, too, from what I heard. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Uh, Paris ain't nothing but a white New Orleans. Wow. With, with, with less good food. Mm. Mm. 
No jambalaya. Less good food. <laughs> <laughs> they don't. They don't got. They don't use the Cajun seasoning and shit. Mm-hmm. You know, just salt and pepper. But it's That's yeah. Terrible. Like everybody I've ever known that went to Paris say the same thing. My mama said that too. So I mean that shit. No, nah, but yeah, that um, like body odor, that's a thing. I can't get past that. But yeah. how how do you tell somebody that though? If they, you just like see, okay, so it's gonna be one of the things like you gonna sit there and like it's gonna get on my nerves if I don't tell you. It ain't gonna get on my nerves because I'm not fucking you no more, or fucking with <laughs> you no more. Like we just. But you just tell them. Like, listen, I'm not even trying to be funny, but yeah, yeah. you might yeah, so like, like get a shower, or <laughs> you know what I mean, like. Or you can be graphic, I, I don't, like, bro, I'm not... I don't not, think a shower going f- to... I mean, musty, yeah. But if you like musty, like, I'm not sucking it. And that smell like that, my nigga. I'm not mm. doing that. I'm not doing that. Yeah, I think that'll like, whip like any nigga in the full shower. court. <laughs> they just ran a full court. <laughs> like, I'm not doing that. Fresh home from the gym. Hell no. You ain't smoking fresh home from the gym? Yet? Absolutely not. I I heard some women like that. That's like some niggas like that all day. Like, twang on it, too. <laughs> Damn. So, they do. This yeah, nigga left like, Some. <laughs> He like that shit. Cause, like cause Slim that. wanted he wanted them niggas. Damn, Slim. <laughs> oh shit. Nah, she talking about Check niggas who eat box out. like with the all day twang on it. No, 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 no. It's just, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that. I don't get my bed without a fresh shower, but if I come out the gym and you there and you just there, ready. I know you just wear I'm like, I know she loves me. But she's a nasty. Wow. <laughs> Where you want to go today? You need a massage? You need nails done? You need your feet done? You need both? You get it all. All. After the gym, my nigga? Yeah, no, nah, that's... She love you more than life. Damn. No, nah, that's a oh, different well, level man. of lust, that's my nigga. That's past love. love. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if... After the gym? No, nah, if, if, if she... After hooping? I don't hoop. Bro is absolute trash next door. Yeah, I'm not. I'm just, I'm ignoring that. So we just gonna stay on. <laughs> we gonna <laughs> we gonna stay on par though. I'm just telling you, if she love you when it's salty, but that's the flavor. The flavor is salt. Mm. High salt. If she love you when it's high salt, high cholesterol. Is she willing to get? You can blood, introduce that. Is she willing to get her blood pressure up? Cause you just love the gym, cause of the salt. You give her the high sodium dick. She gonna. Yeah. She, she, she ain't trying to nah, die about it. All you do, you just. I'm like, baby, let me go. What's the? the uh, I think it like, was. No, no, no. Now. Nah, what Martin say when when they do I that? You just know. tell him. I thought you like your meat season, baby. Oh my god. <laughs> if it's high sodium, she take it. Yeah, that's it. Like, and I'll never let another nigga experience this. The views and <laughs> the opinions and views <laughs> on this podcast. <laughs> the, <laughs> Coming from Slim does not reflect BYOB. You have all types of thirsty, no shit. <laughs> mm. no, no, that's hurt. That's hurt. Ain't nobody else. That's hurt. Ain't nobody else have them. The views and opinions expressed in this mm. segment is not <laughs> reflective of BYOB the podcast or Capital no, Arts Media. That's hurt, bro. <laughs> well, yeah, man. But no, I mean, that's... I don't know. Maybe that's why, maybe that's why these young niggas is out here like trying to bag the older joints. Because they... The old ones... They take. <laughs> I was just gonna say they take care of themselves different, like the older joints. They do. They do. But she can get a little salt in her diet because she done cut salt out of her diet already. Like, oh, well, you know everybody God. vegan now, like everybody on their uh, vegan greens. kicking shit. So. Green <laughs> yeah, so let me on your she clean shit. Like <laughs> this is unreal. Slim, do you want a mic, Slim? I don't. Because <laughs> you take like. Okay. Why did you invite me? Here? <laughs> <laughs> y'all do y'all thing. I'm just trying to get Joe Pro to talk. I thought he was gonna hop in and take over my little. Nah, I was letting you do your thing, bro. I mean, I I thought you liked chicks that smell like they smell like blunts and goddamn uh, forty ounces. So I didn't. Now you changed up on me. (laughs) What's wrong with my bad, Casamigos? What's wrong with a forty? Free codes and Casamigos. There's nothing wrong with like no OE every once in a while. You drink 40s? I'm from Arizona. What the fuck does that mean? I'm 
Niggas in Arizona don't drink 40s. Yes, no they more. do. That's how I found out about 40s. Oh, shit. You don't do it all the nah, time. It's a sometime thing. I ain't gonna front. 40s is definitely some West Coast shit. <laughs> But it was better like when, I drunk before 40s. it was like a plastic yeah. bottle. I drank 40s like in my early bottle. 20, but I won't OE though. We was drinking still reserve. We was wilding. Yeah, they're in plastic bottles now. Yeah, we was drinking still reserve glass bottles. Them shits was different. Yeah, it definitely hit different. Yeah, you go, we was living a different life back then. Yeah. Blue Bull, still reserve, that's the shit we drunk. Because that's oh. all we could afford, but that shit gets you where you want to go. Yeah, for sure. And it also will get you where you don't want to go. Mm. I don't Lock do it fuck often. Up. Don't judge me. I just, I, listen, don't judge me. I have, ain't nothing wrong with OE. <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with OE, though. <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with OE. So you still drink them now? You just had one last weekend, didn't you? I did not. You just had I was a... drinking tequila last weekend, but I, I'm not about to turn down no OE. I'm definitely turning down OE now. <laughs> <laughs> like, like now, in, in 2024, yeah, I'm turning out OD. That's crazy. Man, I want better for your life. What you mean? You drink OE. You drink white Hawaiian punch. Like you just need. You that just white need. Hawaiian you punch need ain't better. Like it. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. And it looks exactly what you expect it to look like. And she loves that shit. And I do. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. Drink Tampico? Um, no, because oh, I used you to drink it. <laughs> no, listen, because I used to drink Tampico. That's why. The fact that you thought about it is. is I'm, I don't is drink wild. it now, but I did. I did drink Tampico. When you I'm, say did, like how long ago was your last Tampico? It don't taste like it used to. <laughs> <laughs> it don't taste like it used to. <clears throat> That's all I'm gonna say. So I don't drink it because something they didn't change. You ever the had to tell somebody that? Like, well, it don't taste like it used to. Hell, I'll be mad though. Damn. Hmm? <laughs> slim. Slim. Do you want a mic, Slim? He was being real slick with that one. <laughs> what I you say? <laughs> Nobody <laughs> caught it. Nobody caught it. Nobody caught it. I caught that motherfucker. <laughs> I said, have you ever, have you ever told somebody that it don't taste like it used to? I told you, no. I ain't got to worry about that. <laughs> no, I ain't say have you ever. <laughs> No, I'm saying. I, I say, have you ever been told that? No, I'm saying. I'm saying. I heard clear. your question. I'm okay, saying, okay. no, I ain't gotta worry about that. Throat clear was crazy. <laughs> no, I ain't gotta worry about that. <laughs> what would you do if a nigga told you that? It don't taste like it used to. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know because I've never been told that. But I don't even know what I would do if I was told that. You gotta ask that nigga what he mean. Right. That should be the that should be the first question. We gonna ignore. Just, <laughs> if it ain't coming through the headphones, we just go. I mean, a, it would only it would have to taste different for some reasons that aren't good. I would think. What if a nigga said like, "Do you ever drink water?" Oh, like, that's so crazy! <laughs> damn, you've been eating. Uh, damn, baby, you've been eating asparagus today. Like you okay? noodles and shit. <laughs> you've been eating eggs, and oh, noodles, and noodles, shit. baby. What the fuck is going on? But that's why some women don't swallow because niggas be eating some bullshit. Mm. That shit don't taste good. I had a joint tell me my nut was sweet before. You also when I was in Louisiana. eat like a friggin' you're like you eat clean. So Man, I just had fried chicken with y'all niggas. That's right now. You probably gonna go home and like <laughs> vomit because you know you don't eat shit like don't that. Ever, yo, I'm not bulimic. <laughs> I'm gonna throw <laughs> my food. That's crazy. Ain't gonna put that on me. Oh, I'm not gonna go throw my food up. Nah. And go eat like a whole it's like, just moderation, eat a whole man. bunch of kale. <laughs> What about that sea moss though? I fuck with sea moss. Yeah, I but you have to I eat clean eat though. You have to eat clean when you drink sea moss. You can't. I mean, yeah, no, that's a fact. You do yeah. kind of. But gotta... the sea moss kind of clean you out at the same time. Not so if it's you like eating, you can't eat sea moss and then go to McDonald's for the rest of the day. But right. the sea moss <laughs> can make you shit it out. So it's like it's gonna, it ain't gonna work like it's supposed to. <laughs> yeah, it ain't gonna do what it gotta do. But you know, in moderation for sure. But that sea moss is good for you know everything else because that shit got like ninety eight of the. 101 nutrients that your body needs so that shit is very uh beneficial to you i just had a um a smoothie from jaconi cafe yo jaconi is the shit food and is so good yeah, yeah but you forget that shit vegan sometimes when no, you eat that yes. shit like, that shit good as but a I, bitch. I, I was like dang and they put sea moss in my smoothie and then oh, i man. went to the car yeah. and drank some tequila so i said well fuck it wow. <laughs> that shit mix that shit yeah <laughs> but you i mean so sea moss you can't taste it once you mix it yeah with, you can't with, taste it when you it mix it with so shit good. you eat it by itself that shit is nasty right it's not nasty but it tastes like 
It depends on if you got the liquid or the gel, though. So, it's... so I I just do the gel. Okay. I just make it. I mean, because I can. You can mix the gel in anything. Right. You know what I'm saying so. It's like it's like applesauce, but like no sweetness to it, and like right. It's like somebody dropped a piece of fried fish into the applesauce. Right. And it's... was like, fuck it, just 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 pick that piece out, but like just blend the rest of it in there. That's kind of like wanna... snot mixed in with. <laughs> Mm. I don't know who the fuck making your sea moss. <laughs> no, like, I don't know. No, no, he's talking about that cleaning yeah, process. When you yeah. watch how they clean it, that part, don't tell me it's in my shit. I don't even want to know. No, but sometimes it's kind of thick, so it's kind yeah, of snotty yeah, shit. Like, yeah. That shit do be thick. Yeah. Like, so that shit. zooming in on me? Like, what's going on here? <laughs> All right. He's paying. Nah, I'm playing. I'm pretty <laughs> fucking with you, man. What? Yo, man. man, they can look. She got some pretty eyes. They can look at oh, her Oh, thank eyes. you. Thank you. And they can look at Eric Sermon over here, so. Man, get the fuck Eric out of here. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is just brown. All right, y'all, so we going to go ahead and wrap this shit up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm... You can go to the music. What music? You said you was going to the music. The we got topics. something next door. No, we, I said we going to, we ain't going to, we going to. Okay, what do you think? I am. I'm not here. <laughs> you sure you ain't here? But nah, what you had, Pam? You had a, you definitely had a, uh, you had two topics. No, I had two. One question. One question and one, one question. topic. Because I was having a conversation with my friend. And I don't know if men do this or if it's just women that do it or if both of us do it. But this is going to sound so fucking shallow. How a person looks, right? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Does that determine, like, what type of sex they're about to get? And if you're about to leave the lights on? Like... Just say they just look amazing, right? Mm-hmm. Like fully clothed. Like they are just breathtaking. Just it's everything. Mm-hmm. Then the clothes come off and it's like, mm, but you still want to hit it because you already here. We done got this far. I'm trying to fuck still. <laughs> so you saying she can she can be pretty as fuck in the face and then the body is fucked up? Or you mean yeah, like, all that? Like, you mean like on some I'm going to get you sucker shit? Like she bad yeah, when like, y'all leave and then she start taking shit off? Yeah, and they're, she, they're not like it's not there. Off yeah. Like that. <laughs> like, does that determine like she take what type of, of sex fake, they about to get? Like, like she take off a fake leg or some shit. I like, might okay. still hit it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! But does it? Does it? Because I feel like it for me, it, it would. It would like change the like, sex that some, they about to get. Yeah, like this person was a uh, super. Well, he was okay. He looked different now, but. When the nigga clothes came off, he was like shaped like a Christmas tree. Damn. <laughs> so, but I was like, man, I like him. And I still want to hunt. So I was mm. like, hey, bro, like, hit them lights for me. Wow. Um, and I like when I think about it now, I'm like, damn, that was so shallow. And then it wasn't even like on no missionary shit. It was like on some back shots, like, <laughs> get this man out of here type shit. Oh, you ain't want to feel that nigga body on your body. No, Hell no. no that's the thing. Wanna... I'm, a, I'm a like chubby chaser. I like big dudes. I like them skinny or they big. It ain't no in between. I like mm. what I like. But this was, this won't it. It won't end. And I was like, fuck. So does that matter to y'all or no? Shaped like a Christmas tree is crazy. I mean, it it definitely (laughs) matter. I mean, if it's already dark, like you ain't really seeing all that until later on. So. But what if it's not dark? And you said you was already planning to hit, right? Yeah. You was already planning it? Yeah. I don't think it's going to totally stop it. It might make it, it might stop it. It might stop the sex from being great because it's already in your mind, like, yeah. oh, like I ain't really feeling the way her body look or something yeah. like that. So it, so it's it just might, gonna turn like I'm gonna off. get this nut off. Yeah, <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> like, yeah, and I never like, thought nah, I had I mean, nothing like that, but I have. Yeah, I have had situations where it was like, yeah, I'm about to, I'm about to smoke this, and yeah. then like, as it's about to happen, I'm like, yeah, I'm about to just get this nut off. So this ain't, this ain't it. Yeah, that shit happens. I was like, damn, I hope I ain't the only one. I know that it made me seem kind of shallow. I'm not shallow, but... Nah, the worst shit is when you feel like you about to get your shit off and like... Hey, look, so give me about two more minutes and I'm going to recoup. Let me get something to drink and we going to just round two. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. I just need to recover and then round two. <laughs> hey, look, every nigga in the world has had one that, that caught you off guard. Rather you too excited, whatever the case... Too drunk. Well, I know if I'm too drunk, that shit probably never gonna like. I'm I fuck all night. So it's like on the gummy worm or no? It ain't on the gummy. It just, mm. I'm just not coming. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, I'm just not coming. That's but why, I, like, I've never tried Molly because I heard that like you get close, but you don't come from like when you're on Molly and that right there. Nah, that shit is whack. That shit is like, like I don't, don't want to do it for that reason. 
Yeah. Like what? I had my best sex on the E pill. Speaking of Molly, that's you know it's not totally Molly, but yeah. did you come though? Yeah. yeah, I mean the, <laughs> no, no, I did come, but the E pill can. It depends on what type of pill that you got. It could have you. You can turn into a gummy worm because you're so high, mm. and then you got the ones that you're totally perfect, and you're yeah. going for hours and hours and hours. So. And it's too much. That's too much. Yeah. Then but I yeah, know which fucking one and then get. fucking and then right. being about to come and not coming is like when that sneeze about to come and that shit just don't happen. That shit yeah. is annoying. That shit is annoying as fuck. Yeah, that shit is like bad. the worst feeling. I I'm, I don't want to feel that. Hell no. But I mean, I, I mean, I guess that's like you know when you hitting the joint and you by the bus and then like the rhythm change up. Like I guess you know that could fuck shit up too. But I'm trying to unsee the dude being shaped like a Christmas tree. I'm, I was trying to get past all that shit. <laughs> Does he say like Barney? Like what? Um, like, <laughs> like the head. So like His grimace, got like small grimace from the head got small, <laughs> but the body was on the way to getting small, but it won't dare yet. But no shade though, because like I said, I, I'm a I like a bigger dude. I'm, you know, I like what I like, but. No shade. You said you made the nigga give you back shots and then you kicked him out. How is that not shade? That's not shade because listen, we both. Got I mean, he still beat. I, I, I guess I got it's this. not. Yeah, I ain't gotta look at your face yeah. and then get out. Yeah, I ain't gonna front. If I'm a foul looking nigga, or if a woman feel like I'm foul, but she still wanna let me beat, I'm gonna take my win. It's not even that. I'm gonna He's take a good my guy. Dub. Like I'm taking my listen. W. Like mentally, it was there, but physically, it wasn't there. That was the only time he hit. You let him hit again? He, absolutely not. <laughs> nope. I did not. So you ain't really looked past that shit like you saying you did. I did. The sex just wasn't all that good because he didn't have confidence. Yeah, because like, you told a nigga he shaped like a fucking... So you ugly nigga, tell. get behind me. Because you told a nigga he shaped like tell. a fucking Christmas tree. I never told him that. He didn't Merry know Christmas, that. Merry Christmas, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't tell him that. Yeah. I'm telling y'all that, but I didn't tell him that. But he didn't, oh, you know, man. like, I'm a great actress. I didn't, you know, let him feel like... <laughs> <laughs> so hold on, I got a question. Did you start singing like Christmas songs like "Tis the season for your body"? <laughs> la, 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 la. Like, no. did you start just right, humming shit? Right. No, <laughs> no. He's I don't know what he's doing now with his life, but I wish him well. He's not shaped like a Christmas tree anymore. Oh shit, he didn't got diesel now. Listen, he he did all right for himself. Would you let him hit now? Absolutely not. Dang. <laughs> Damn, he still can't hit. He got his shape, but he still can't hit no more. <laughs> That's terrible. That's something. It's that. not like it's, a, it, it's, it's it's the same body. Just he's still not. I, he, he, he's how still was the not. head? How was the head? Trash. Damn. See, that's what it was. That's what it was. If he if he'd yeah. have sucked their soul out, facts. It'd have been different. You'd have been you would have been dropping that nigga off at the gym. <laughs> like, <laughs> right. <laughs> hey, baby, let's go to one life. Yep. I get right. your membership. Don't you worry about it. You don't got to drive your car. I take you. But no, I mean, you know, sometimes, sometimes aging is, you know, it 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 helps with things. That's true. So sometimes, like when you when you Check age, when you age and shit, like, I guess that's why, um, like a lot of these older women is getting these young niggas. No, because they're fucking creeps. <laughs> they're fucking creeps. <laughs> Women always talk about men, but women are the biggest fucking creeps. Yeah. I mean, creep is subjective. 39, a 39 year old woman and a 21 year old man. Make it make sense. What do you have? What do the 39 year old woman look like? Not it's, that, it's, that it's, I mean, I know it's still. We, we know it's Drea Michelle. If and I'm, she's bad. That's, that's, yeah. can't take that from her. She is a beautiful woman. Yeah, Drea's bad as shit. <clears throat> I forget she's 39. That's crazy. She just turned 39. Who's she? She fucking with a 21-year-old? She's fucking with a 21-year-old. I mean, some people, most people would say she a creep, and then some people would say that's a lucky-ass young nigga. <laughs> but it's the ego thing for him, I would think. Is he like somebody? 20... He's famous. Mm. He plays right. sports. Let's just say that. Oh, he's an oh, athlete. Man. Oh, <laughs> athletes is, yo. Athletes knock down all the IG models. But she has her own money, so I can't really say she's winning for his money. I think she maybe giving him some type of sex he's never had because he's only twenty one. So twenty one year olds ain't fucking like no thirty nine year old. No, nah, yeah, I mean, I I get I definitely get what you're saying though because if it was like a um, if it was a thirty nine year old nigga and a twenty one year old girl, I see it on the internet all the that time. They be at niggas next, like right. they be they be going crazy on niggas. But you don't think she's a creep, Joe? Who Dre? Thirty nine and twenty. 
There's that's crazy. Her son I is mean, 21. Yo, the crazy shit. I think I've seen some shit online too. Um, I mean, to answer your question, let me not because motherfuckers gonna accuse me of deflecting and shit. I do think that shit wild, especially when there's mad niggas in like the age and tax bracket that she could be fucking with. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Joe Pro right here. He ain't 21. He, Drea, how let Joe. He'll put you on. Nah, mm. I'm just playing. But, uh, nah, but I seen this shit though. Drea like, like mm. a lot of these IG models, like, they look like they in their 20s, but like, they, I, I, some of them, I didn't even know they was old as they was. Like, uh, Bernice Burgos. Mm -hmm. She like yeah, 40. She I thought she was like 20 she's something. Like 43? Yeah. So I, her yeah, daughter's like 20 something. I thought mm -hmm. she was in her 20s. Oh, wow. I thought she was young. Like, yeah. I did at what, maybe not 20s, but she looked like she in her fucking 20s. Yeah. But yeah, like she, when I first seen her, I thought she was like beautiful. late twenties, early thirties. She's crazy 30s in person, shit. though. I seen her; yeah. she is fucking amazing in person. Like it, it still looked the same. Attitude, body, face, all yeah. that shit, crazy. I was like, wow. Yeah, I heard yeah. she was down to earth like that, though. Yeah. Her daughter says she likes younger guys too, though. Well, her daughter's young. Yeah, but her daughter said that she has to check her DMs and then check her mom DMs to make sure the same dude that's in her DMs ain't in her mom's. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, her mom saying that her. I mean, her daughter saying her mom likes younger. Yeah, her mom okay. likes younger guys. I thought she yeah. was saying her daughter was saying she like younger. No. I'm like, yo, no. she young. Is she in the? I mean, how young? Like, like 35, 36, young. You know I, I mean? don't know. I don't know because that's the thing. You don't hear like Bernice and Burgos. You don't hear younger guys that she's talked to. They're not out in the streets like putting her name out there. Yeah, nah. Like that. I haven't heard much of her. Um, I mean, we know Britney Renner. Like, she had the baby by the young nigga, the young NBA nigga, but. I mean, from what I'm hearing, though, they're, it's, they're it's, it's the niggas that's going at them. Like, they going no. to smack at them. No, for real. What? Why the fuck would you fall for that? I'm about to be 38 years old. There's nothing a fucking 21-year-old can tell me. I don't give a fuck how fine you I are. got $100 million. That's all. The, that's them niggas' pickup line. Fuck no. <laughs> hey, look. Oh, you live in L.A.? Yeah, we playing the Lakers next weekend. I got $100 million. What's up? That's mm. crazy. I want to take you out for the weekend. I don't want the fucking headache. Yeah. I don't want the fucking headache. I'm good. And most of young them, dudes is crazy as fuck. Yeah, crying, sitting outside your house and shit. <laughs> like fuck no, I ain't got time. Nope. Damn, man. Nope, I don't fuck with no. They, That's past crazy. They do. They. If cry. I walk, at, not, if I walk outside my crib and the shorty is just outside crying, sitting outside my house, That's shit, wow. Like what the fuck are you doing here? I don't know if I want to call my sisters and shit or I want to call the people. I don't want to call my sisters because she might have a hammer in the whip and she might get this shit over with. I learned my lesson. They pop up. But yeah. And cry. Nah, like that's why that's why it's just it's important to just deal with emotionally intelligent people if you're dealing with them on that level. But nah, so like, I don't know. But yeah, what they, we got? What time we got? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. They can't have anything in common other than great sex. Hey, but I mean, sometimes that's a that keeps motherfuckers together. It's not going to last. To some. I mean, it may not last, but maybe, you know. It'll be fun. They might not be here for a long time. Right. They're It'll be fun, but time. they're not. That's not going to last. Yeah. I don't know. That's some creepy shit. I'm not fucking with a 21-year-old. I could not deal. Yeah. What you got on your mind, Joe? I see the smirk. I see some. You got something brewing over there in your nah, head, man. Nah, man. Actually, <laughs> actually, man, I'm a lottery player, man. I'm thinking, dang, I got to get my numbers in. I was like, what time is it? Shit. But oh, I just yeah. actually, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I take slow. Yo, your numbers are like slow. Nah, nah, your I got to get them. I always, I told I you, you always been my, like, my favorite person, bro. You know, I love you. Like, you know, I love you like hey. as a brother. You know what I'm saying? You've always been a big brother to me. Them numbers hit. I love you, dog. Yeah, appreciate <laughs> it, man. Appreciate it, man. I got to, you know what I'm saying? I got to get my numbers in, you know? That's like my little my little old man shit, man. I be I be into the numbers a little bit. But you already got him, so you the nigga that nah. be holding up the line and shit. Uh, yeah. If I get in there now and I got like thirty numbers I'm trying to put in, yeah, because it's ten twenty seven. Oh, cut off is ten forty five. Yeah. But yeah, now nah, we can go ahead. We 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 about at the end, and we can go ahead and wrap up. What you got? What you got? Uh, so at the end of every episode, we do what we call final thoughts. It doesn't have to be final thoughts based on what we talked about tonight. All it can right. just be anything, something motivational, something whatever the case, just whatever you want to leave people with. Um, that's your final thought for the day. So what you got? Well, shit. First of all, I want to say check me out tomorrow night at um, uh, King's Hookah Lounge off Military Highway. Uh, check me out Saturday at... Um, 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 damn, I'm trying to think of the name of the club. It's a uh, restaurant, Rip, the Rivers Restaurant and Lounge Comedy Show. Okay. Stars at uh, like 630. That's in Portsmouth, right? Right. Yeah, okay. Yep. Uh, also, Buns and Basketball coming up on March the 2nd in <gasps> Richmond. Buns and Basketball. I'm, I'm oh, one of the DJs they, for that joint. 
Come check me out at that. That's going to be crazy. Oh, my God. Need y'all you in the going? building. My birthday's March 1st. I have to go. Oh, yeah. We need her in the building. It's, <laughs> it's going to be crazy. You going to hoop? You going to hoop with her? I just want to see the movie. Hey, we also got, <laughs> got Triple X star, uh, Go Go Fuck Me. She's playing in the game. So, you know, that's something new. That's going to be crazy. We got a lot of uh, exotic dancers and stuff that's going to be in the game actually playing. So, it's it's something different. Um, it's going to be it's gonna be dope. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think I might have to pull up for that. What are we doing? We pulling up? Uh. I just got so excited. You not see my face. I'm really excited. I guess that's a yes. Pam ready to turn up. Yeah. <laughs> what you going to do if they pass you the ball? Because you will fit in with them. No, nah, I ain't got no ass like that. <laughs> that's <Yeah>. ass. <laughs> what you talking about? Well, that's... <laughs> yeah. What she talking about? Bro? What she talking about, Slim? <laughs> what you got for him, Pam? Um... Live life and have some great fucking sex because I haven't said it in a while. Some mm. of y'all need some great sex Sounds with good. the right people. That is definitely a good. Uh, good. That is definitely a good shit. Oh, oh, you said mic drop. That was it. That's Mike, it. Oh, Mike. That's it. <laughs> Seriously, you got to do that. Yeah, my shit is uh, don't bullshit. Know what I'm saying, if you want something, go get it. Don't worry about if motherfuckers gonna laugh at you. Don't worry about what people gonna mm. think because at the end of the day, if the shit worked. Then it worked for you, regardless of who didn't want it to work for you, who thought it was a dumb pipe dream, a joke, whatever the case is. If you really feel passionate about something, you feel strong about it, go get that shit. Don't give you got to block the noise out. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because anything, if 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 they don't laugh at your dreams, your dreams ain't big enough. Hmm. All right. So if people don't feel like you can accomplish something, that means you're not dreaming big enough. Hey. And I don't feel like outside of flying with just your arms, nothing is is impossible to do hmm. All right. so and that's it so well, we like, out this bitch what hey you man, got? i got one more thing man just don't watch the ass come tip the ass money war wednesdays oh. at la's gentleman's club i'm there yours truly joe prona one and twos big what? will oh it's crazy every wednesday la's back popping la's back popping oh all right i have to go <laughs> i want to go <laughs> Word, we gotta play lottery me and oh, yeah. Pam together. Oh, yeah. we, we, gonna definitely gonna, we gonna pull up the la's <laughs> we definitely gonna do that yeah. all right we out this bitch one